Hi everyone, Michelle Tennant Nicholson here, fastfoodfromthefarmersmarket.com. This is my personal health vlog. Um, I'm a publicist by trade and an amateur triathlon. My a triathlete. My mom's on the phone, so I wanted to acknowledge my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. So I wanted to acknowledge her because she was the one who said, "Hey, you know, Dr. Roz is covering this cool." program and you've been saying for years that you think you're sensitive to foods so check this out it's called the plan by um lynn janae recitas and here's a uh, i don't know here's a picture i'm showing them a picture of you mom with dad so that's mom and that's my dad now dad when did he pass away mom he, he passed away in 2004 so <clears throat> No, was it 2007? Oh, 2004. In May, 2004. 2004, gosh. I favor my father more than my mother, right? Wouldn't you say, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. So the one thing that I learned years ago from having done a blood test, because we knew that I had food sensitivities in the early 2000s. I had a doctor who did that with me. And here's this that program. Okay, so you can see here from that program that, you know, I had green foods, yellow foods, red foods, and I spent $1,000 for this test. So I'm in this, I was talking to my mom about the differences between blood tests and the plan. And the people at the plan, you know, I've been interacting with them over at Facebook. I did notice that they told some people, hey, blood tests are just different, which you know, the first few days I was really worried about eating chicken and lamb, which is what's recommended here, or things like apples and pears, which this test said I was highly reactive to. Now, keep in mind that this, when I had this done, um, you know, dad was dying, he was dying of lung cancer, and I was, I knew that low-grade inflammation rates would eventually lead to disease and given my family history it would probably lead to cancer so I was really worried about this even though I'm you know I'm a triathlete I'm healthy I'm just overweight you know right my blood level my blood is fine I just was like I, I wanted to thrive with my health so when I started the plan a week ago I thought oh, there is no way I'm going to be okay on apples and pears I am I'm like completely fine on apples and pears now, there's other things. So this, this blood panel is completely different. You know, when I did an elimination rotation diet with this particular doctor in 2004 for six months, zero weight loss, my, um, my skin looked nice, <laughs> but I didn't, have, I didn't have any of the results that I really wanted. Um, so mom and I were talking this morning, right? What did you ask me, mom? You asked me about um, bread, right? So she asked me about bread, and then I read her this story about Dan. And so I wanted to read that with you because I've had my first reactive food, and it's a multigrain. I had a multigrain that really caused me problems, and I immediately took a probiotic. That's what she said her protocol was. You, you know, she said, do not take, um, be kind to your system is the bottom line, right? I mean, most of us will go to get an over-the-counter medicine, or we'll go take you know, teas and stuff that, you know, trying to um, force the body along. She just said take a probiotic. And if you want to take ginger, peppermint, chamomile tea, which are very light teas, right? It's not a senna tea, right? Um, here's what the multigrain myth is. So this is on page 113 of the plan, which is mind-blowing, okay? Because for years I've had multigrains. More isn't necessarily better when it comes to grains or fiber. Remember that your weight is really just your chemical response to food. And if you ingest a multigrain high fiber product that contains something you are reactive to, which I did on Saturday, more actually turns out to be a deficit. One of my all-time classic stories from the plan was Dan, age 53, who had digestive problems and had been told for years by his doctor that he was gluten intolerant. For all my gluten intolerant friends out there check check this out he had been living off gluten-free products but the weight was piling on and his digestion was getting worse 
This didn't surprise me at all since many of these products are made with ingredients that are reactive. Tapioca is highly inflammatory with a high glycemic index. Potato starch is the most inflammatory component of potatoes and xanthan gum, a thickening agent, is often included as well. It is high in purines, purines which affect uric acid levels which in turn can aggravate pain and inflammation. We know that when foods trigger inflammatory diseases, an uptick on the scale always follows. Dan's body responded fantastically well his first week on the plan, so he and I decided to test him on rye. He passed with a half a pound weight loss and no digestive issues at all. So I didn't. I was fine on rye as well. On day eight, he was excited to try an English muffin, which he hadn't had in years. I told him to add a healthy amount of butter and email me the following morning. Um, I just want everybody to know that my uh, my bread of choice has always been um, sprouted breads. You know, uh, there's a few sprouted breads, Ezekiel bread and Aldeverdo. Al Alvardo, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you all know that one, the California sprouted uh, protein bread. You get it in the freezer section. I have eaten, I've eaten those breads in moderation, like one slice every few, you know, like hardly any of it. But I've been, I have been ingesting them for years, right, Mom? Don't you and I have always had the Ezekiel bread? Pardon me? The Ezekiel bread. Don't you eat the Ezekiel bread too? Right, we got to test it. So, uh, and I'm going to test the Ezekiel bread too to see how it does for me. I haven't tested it. I tested uh, a sourdough wheat blend, and I, because I had tested okay on wheat, but the sourdough really messed with my system. And my pain was incredibly difficult last night. I mean, I, it was just shocking that my pain was back so full force. The next day, Dan was up 1.4 pounds. It didn't make sense with his profile, so I told him what kind of English muffin he'd had, and he told me it was high fiber. I then asked him to please look at the ingredient list and tell me if oat bran was there, and sure enough, that was the source of extra fiber. Oats are 85% reactive. Suddenly, Dan's weight gain made sense. Dan repeated the test on bread after taking a rest day, this time eating a plain white English muffin. This time he lost 0.4 pounds. That is a classic illustration of how your weight is always your chemical response to food and how the common food myths of healthy can sometimes be very wrong, so very wrong for us. So there you go. So do blood test or the plan, what doctors say, whatever. I think the bottom line is, is that find a program that allows you to find out what's good or what your body wants, you know. At this point in 2004, I was told that I had a leaky gut syndrome by a doctor, and it was verified, and I was put on, probably because I was traveling abroad or I'm a kayaker, and I was put on an intense protocol of uh, antibiotics first to get rid of some of the parasites that I had from overseas travel, and then for six months, I did an elimination diet and then had, you know, like aloe vera juice. I did, she did put me on probiotics and so forth, but... Um, wow, right? The blood test is not the same as what your digestive system wants. It's pretty shocking. So, you know, we lost dad. Dad's in our hearts and memories, right? But he would be so excited to find that something's working. Because one of the things that he said his last year was, you know, he went to the YMCA every single morning and worked out and he ate right and he did everything right, you know. Tons of supplements, did everything that the expert said. He was a nurse. So he did everything he knew to do for his health. Um, and then cancer still consumed him. And I know, you know, I know that, you know, one day we all have to go. But, um, but I'm excited to actually to find some answers that really bewildered our family for years. So, so far so good. Let me know how you're doing. And I wanted to share that with you. So hold on, Mom. I'm going to turn the camera off. Owen. Oh, Coffee with cream and real sugar. Yes, that's what I'm having. Can you believe it?